coffee is really important for my health, for my friends and family too. It's got a lot better in London over recent years, but we still have a way to go. We need to reduce the pollution that is affecting our health. There are legal limits and we need to meet them. Poor air quality is linked to heart disease, lung problems, asthma and cancer. Did you know that across the UK, air pollution was found to cause the equivalent of 40,000 deaths every year? In London, 443 schools are in areas that exceed the safe air quality level. This needs to change. Commercial vehicles, particularly older ones, produce a lot of nasty emissions and make our air dirty. It doesn't have to be this way. With your help, we can reduce these emissions and make the air I breathe when I walk to school cleaner. These emissions are affecting our health, damaging the environment and costing us money. Other cities are cleaner due to reduced pollution and knowing I'm breathing clean air keeps me happy. Copenhagen is one of the most environmentally friendly cities in the world. Lots of cyclists and fewer cars on the road because of good public transport and low emission zones all help to make this happen. In UK cities, we have good environmental policies, but we need more drivers like you to help make things even better. Experts think that poor air quality costs London up to £3.7 billion. As you know, running your vehicle can be expensive too. The biggest cost is fuel. The good news is, by driving smarter, you can save money, protect the environment and wildlife, and help stop me getting ill from the dirty air. This is called eco-driving. It's good for businesses because it cuts costs, improves reputation and can lower the chance of vehicles breaking down. It's good for you because it's less stressful, more healthy and easy to do. I hope you think about eco-driving and be part of improving air quality, for my sake as well as yours.